Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John, this is the world famous Sipping Den. I'd like to welcome you to the channel and the den. Today let's talk about what does charring a barrel, how does it affect the taste of our whiskey? How does it do it? What does it do to it? When we talk about charring uh, the inside of the barrel, we're talking about taking a barrel made out of white American oak, typically, that look like this, and applying flame and heat to it, and making it look like this. All right? It's the uh, blackening of the inside of a barrel through heat and flame. That's what the charring is. Um, it adds a lot of complexity to whiskey, and we're going to go over that. There are four main char levels, and that is how long the inside of that barrel is exposed to heat and fire. So number one level would be exposing it for 15 seconds, and number two level would be exposing the inside of that barrel for 30 seconds, a number three would be 35 seconds, and a number four would be 55 seconds, also known as an alligator char. One of the things that that does, by the way, it adds all the color to bourbon, 100%. And it actually adds 70% of the flavor, the barrel does. Now, when you char it, it gets these little rivets and stuff, okay? This one I've been um, rough handling it because I'm going to actually make a wall out of this part. So I'm going to end up sanding this a little bit so it don't fall off uh, everywhere. Um, normally there'd be no white spots uh, showing, but it, uh, since it makes all those little divots and cracks and lines, it gets more exposure. It gets more um, surface area for the whiskey to interact with the barrel than if it was just a smooth barrel. Um, so you got to remember that this wood is porous, so it allows air to get in through the barrel and interact with the whiskey and allows the whiskey to get into the barrel, right? When uh, these are stored in um, non-heated and uh, non-controlled um, warehouses, there's no heat or air condition. So when it gets real hot in Kentucky, uh, the or wherever it is, but Kentucky typically for bourbon, the whiskey, those pores open up, plus you've damaged them with the heat, and it drives the whiskey in. Then when it gets cold in the winter, and those pores close up, it drives the whiskey out. Uh, and that is bringing dragon flavor in and out. The other thing it's doing, that charcoal is adding as a filtration system. So as it goes in and passes that charcoal level and comes out, yes, it's bringing flavor in every time it does that, and it's bringing color in every time it does that. But it's also taking out sulfur and some of the harsher tannins in the wood. So that's a natural filtration system. It's pretty cool. Um, it When you um, do uh, add heat to this barrel, it... The sugars in the barrel, the sugars in the wood, actually come toward the heat source. So it brings out the sugars. Um, charring will bring out flavors like um, vanilla, toffee, caramel, spices. All that comes from when you the heat. I mean, it's in the barrel anyway, but when you heat it up, it really brings it out. Now, that'll actually change. The heating will also change the molecular structure of the wood. And that uh, helps produce the flavors I just mentioned, too, because some things like lignans and all get broken down into vanillins. And uh, the structure of the uh, molecules in the wood actually change, give you the flavors I mentioned. Now, uh, one of the things, the darker the char, the longer it's been exposed to flame, will give you a stronger um, spiciness, smokiness, and actually more vanilla taste the longer it's been charred. That's usually a pretty common thing. Um, is there anything else I need to do? I think that's pretty much it of what, um, just a quick overview of how a barrel really changes so the flavor and the charring, how much the charring affects the flavor of a barrel. And that is why um, bourbon is unique, it has to be put into a brand new barrel and it has to be charred. Uh, it has to be made of oak. And so that is really going to impact that flavor now, uh, there are different types of, of things. Now, for example, that's that's a law that has to be charred. And we've talked about that. Now, if you ever hear anything called double oaked, I'll give you this bonus. What double oaked is, is when you take that barrel that we just talked about, you make that whiskey, you put it in that brand new oak charred barrel for however many years, and now it's ready. Now, you can serve it like that. You put it in a bottle, it, and there it is. That's one version. But if you take that and you stick it in another brand new oak charred barrel, that's called double oaked. You leave that in there for three to six months. The longest I've seen is nine. I'm sure there's longer than that. Um, it's going to pick up other characteristics, and it's going to give it a different 
profile. So now you have two profiles. But what if you take that first one and you don't stick it in a brand new, another brand new oak charred barrel? What if you stick it in a brand new oak toasted barrel where it is not charred with flame, it is just heated up, it is baked. Those sugars and those different molecules get pushed out, but they don't get caramelized. That's what toasted is. And that uh, is a third profile. Um, a good example of that would be Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. It's caramel, marshmallow, sweet, it's delicious. And then uh, Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. I've got reviews of all these, by the way. Uh, that gives that beautiful profile of being that double oaked and the rich flavors that come out of that double um, oaking. Uh, I will warn you of this, though. There is a, um, a lot of places will uh, the distillers will have their barrels toasted and then charred because they have to have it charred. So they'll have, they'll say toast it first, sweat out that vanilla and sweat out those sugars and then char it. But they don't call that toasted oak or double oak or anything because it's not, it's just in the original barrel. There is one though and that will do that, that will call that um, toasted, right? To me, if it's gonna be toasted, it has to be put in a brand new barrel after it's finished to further age um, in a brand new barrel that has been heated, that, that has been toasted. I'm not going to mention who it is. I guess I won't do it. But um, they take their product and they toast it first and then char it once and they call it toasted. That is a very common practice, but they're the only ones that call it toasted. Not, uh, not too happy about that. But now you know the different char levels, how it affects your whiskey, why it affects your whiskey, a little bit about the double oak, and a little bit about the... Um, toasted. So I hope it was helpful. If you have any other comments, you have any questions, uh, let me know. If you have any comments you want to add to this, go ahead. People are going to be reading it. They'll be looking for your expertise as well. Thank you for being here and I'll see you on the next one.